What is up everybody? I just want to say that these new iPhones that are coming out are going to be probably the most amazing things in terms of iPhones that have ever been released. I'm very, very optimistic about them. Honestly, when the iPhone 10 was released, I was more so kind of hesitant about the timing of it. I think Apple can really nail this out if they just release the iPhones at the same time and not release some like some in September or October and then some in November because that'll just screw up everything. But I just want to go over some of the major viewpoints and talk points of the iPhones. Pretty much, as we all know, there's going to be three of them. All of them 100% will have Face ID sensors, okay? And the reason being, and this is the best way I can explain it, if you think about the last budget iPhone, okay, apparently people are saying that the 6.1 inch iPhone is going to be budget with the LCD display. I completely buy that. But if you think about it, even the iPhone SE, the most budget iPhone, came with Touch ID. If you think about it, if they were trying to save more money, they would have just put in like a home button there not even touch id but the fact that they did means that they will probably not skimp out on something that crucial and probably most likely put face id on the budget iphone 6.1 inch whatever it's called all the iphones will also have glass backs don't mind this black thing here that's just for it's connecting it to my car um, and they will all have wireless charging as well but just know that the budget iphone will probably only have one single camera up here there have been a lot of models that have been uh, leaking out not leaking but that one guy who always makes those models <laughs> sent them out to all those people and from what i'm seeing i think those are pretty accurate i think the single camera on the iphone 6.1 inch iphone 9 i think is what it's going to be called I think that's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be much better than the iPhone 8's camera. And it'll probably be on par with something like an iPhone 8 Plus, even though it only has one sensor. So I think it'll be able to do more with that one sensor, but I'm unsure as of this point. But overall, pretty excited about it. In terms of the camera quality, I think it's going to be able to shoot 4K at 120 frames per second. I don't know. That's uh, I don't, I don't I, in, Some iPhones might already be able to do that. Now, in terms of the overall bezel, it'll most likely, all the iPhones will not have home buttons. I already made a whole separate video talking about the end of the home button era. And this will pretty much just be like the same exact way you're seeing it right here here will be the slim bezels apparently the 6.1 inch the cheaper model the cheapest model out of all the iphones will probably have a little bit of a thicker bezel to kind of like demonstrate like oh this is not as premium as the newer ones or as the more expensive ones so that's one thing apple will probably do but they're all going to have the like aluminum chassis on the side and like i said all glass on the back we're still going to keep the lightning charger 100 if i'm wrong about if they switch to USB-C, every person who likes this video I will literally send you $2 if, the, if it ends up being wrong, okay? So hit that like button. If I'm wrong, I will literally send you $2 if they switch to USB-C. But if I'm right, you guys owe me $500, all right, each, all right? Now, one of the biggest problems I have about the newer iPhones is that I'm praying that they don't decrease the battery on the smaller size iPhone 10, the 2018 version. If you guys don't know, the three iPhones are pretty much going to be the iPhone 10, something the same size as this, an iPhone that is 6.1 inches, like I've reiterated like 100 times. And then there's going to be a 5.8 inch model, which is probably going to be the same size as a plus version of any iPhone. So here I have my very broken iPhone 6 Plus. Um, I'm still trying to fix it. I, I already made a video about it, but it's going to be something around the same size. So if you have a Plus model, if you've ever held one, it's going to be you know this size, give or take. So you can kind of see how much bigger it is. Here I switched to this other one, and you can kind of see. I mean, it's like not. I mean, it's a noticeably bigger 100%. But I think it's a welcome upgrade. I would probably rather, as a daily driver, rather have this size than this size. But one thing that Apple, you know, I'm a whole. I'm gonna make a whole separate video about it and it'll be my honest feelings and hopefully apple utilizes this bigger screen that's just a spoiler of the video but this is pretty much what it's going to look like it's going to be this size and in my opinion i think the cheapest iphone is going to be around 800 dollars. i think it might be cheaper than that but i think if they put it 800 that'd be like a sweet spot because the iphone 10 will probably be like a thousand and the iphone 10 plus will probably be like 13 to 1400 so I think it'd be like 1300 for the base model and then 1400 for the 256 gigabyte option and the iPhone 6.1 inch and the iPhone 10. But I think it's weird that everyone's saying that the 6.1 inch iPhone is going to be more expensive, but I personally feel like wouldn't the phone with the bigger screen be more expensive than the phone with the smaller screen? I don't know, that's just me, but but yeah, guys, that's pretty much a synopsis. And there's also been tons of other leaks, and there's been iPad leaks and all these other things as well. And we're gonna talk about those very, very soon. I've just been absent about the leaking game. I've just been doing so much. I remember when the iPhone SE 2 came out, I like did all those videos, but I just kind of haven't done them for the newer ones. But 
that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Like I said, if I'm wrong about that, I'll give everyone $2. But hit that subscribe button as well. As of this point, we're still giving away an iPhone SE and an iPhone success on the channel. And in order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both those links are down in the description. So make sure you guys enter that. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.